give a cheer. First a firecracker. Ah. And you can remember that when a firecracker goes off, it makes a hissing noise. When it gets up in the air, it makes a big boom. And then the sparkles come out and the people go, ah. Give yourself a looking good cheer. Looking good. Looking good. Give yourself a smiley. Ching. Ching. Give yourself a Harry Potter cheer. Show me your magic wands, your psh, psh, psh. Terrific. Psh, psh, psh. Terrific. Give yourself a Texas cheer. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! Give yourself a Spider-Man cheer. Somebody said, why would you do that? Because the kids like it, that's why. But also, we are articulating a lot of sounds children have difficulty with with these cheers. R, S, L, and T. Let's do a trucker cheer. Show me your steering wheel. Honk, honk. Good job, good buddy. Honk, honk. Good job, good buddy. Give me a cheese and grater. Here's the grater. Here's the cheese. You're great, great, great. Here's the grater. Here's the cheese. You're great, great, great. How about a fantastic cheer? Show me your spray bottle, your psh, psh, psh. Fantastic. Psh, psh, psh. Fantastic. How about hip, hip, hooray? Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Now, when I was a little girl, they didn't have stickers. The teacher had a little box of gold stars, and if you were very good, you got one. I didn't get too many, but that's why I like these cheers. Every child in your room can celebrate and get a cheer with these cheers. So get a gold star and lick it and put it on your forehead because you're all gold star children. How about a rattlesnake cheer? Grown-ups don't like that one too much, but the kids get a kick out of it. How about a ketchup bottle cheer? Show me your ketchup bottle. Or a hamburger cheer. Show me your hamburger meat. Make your hamburger. Put it on the skillet. Is it done? Not yet. Is it done? Not yet. Is it done? Well done. How about a bubblegum cheer? Get out your bubblegum, open it up, put it in your mouth. And I'll tell you another thing that, that you can do with these cheers. You can use it to get children's attention. I can have a gym full of a couple hundred kids and I'll get them quiet with the hamburger or bubble gum every time. How about this one, boys and girls, reach up and grab a star and put it in your heart because you're so special. Grab a star and put it in your heart because you're so special. And when they say something really bright, whether it's right or wrong, you can say, kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. And if they do something kind for a friend, you can let them kiss their heart. Now, I'm going to do the donkey cheer for you. And when somebody told me about this one, I thought, that's kind of stupid. And I did it with the children, and they loved it. So you have the boys sit on the floor. This is a good one to do at the end of the day. And then the girls stand up, and the girls go, hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw always does a good job. And then the girls sit down, and the boys stand up on one foot, and the boys go, she-haw, she-haw, 
She always does a good job. Every girl thinks every boy's doing it for her, and every boy thinks every girl's doing it for him. How about the seal of approval? R, 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 R. And the Texas cheer, and the Texas yell, or you could call that the pre-K cheer, or the pre-K yell, or you could insert your school's name in there. Now, I also want you to know what I suggest you do is get a Cheerios box or a cheer detergent box, and I would introduce one cheer each day, and then I would say, oh, we learned a new cheer, let's save it in our Cheerios box. And then when you need a cheer, you can just let a child pull one out, and you'll always have a cheer to give your class.